He can bring guy, guys in on a Tuesday. On a Wednesday after practice, he gets a group of guys together. He can teach after you know, they get out there and they run their five-play set. They come off to the sideline. The coaches don't even need, even need to come mm, over. Yeah. Matt can coach them all up, get them where they want them, adjust some routes, got some young receivers. Just a good veteran presence that's mm. seen everything. There's nothing that he's going to get in the game that's going to either make him uncomfortable or he hasn't seen. And he's just the ultimate competitor. And I think – with what they've gone through at the quarterback position the past few years to have Matt in there is really good for yeah, him. Yeah, it's almost like his career has that built-in clout where yeah. he, <laughs> on those Tuesdays, week two, you got to get in and we got to get some work in or something yeah. on the sideline. You're that say you're say no talking. to him? Yeah, exactly. His, his career kind of speaks to you not only doing that, but also knowing he's going to get you better to do it. I think uh, the phrase that comes to mind is lead over carry. You know, all Chris Ballard, their general manager, want, and all Frank Reich, their head coach, wants is the quarterback to lead the offense, not think that they have to carry the offense. And I think on the field, that's a little bit of what Carson Wentz missed. And Matt, Will Matt Ryan's kind of in that perfect role where he just wants to be part of the offense, allowing that to star rather than the quarterback to be the star. And I think one of the things that is somewhat of a similarity, you can kind of speak to this a little bit, Luke, the carryover from Atlanta is – the size of the people that they have in the perimeter now. I don't think yeah. the weapons are incredible, but Michael Pittman Jr. is 6'5", 225. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.